In today's video, I am going to show you how you can create a fast and colorful slideshow intro here in Filmora. Before we proceed, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any video in the future. First, let's import all the photos and videos you want to use in your slideshow. You can simply do it by dragging them all to the media section as I am doing now. Then, I will go to the preferences option. You will see an option panel be extended. Here, I will modify the exact duration I want for each image once I drag them onto the timeline. It will make our job easier if you are working with a lot of images in a slideshow. I prepared six photos and dragged them to the timeline. Next, I will double click and I will click on this option to adjust the exact part of the frame I want to show. For me, I want to keep the same settings of my projects, so I will use the 16:9 ratio. I will continue doing the same process with all the photos I will work with to make sure they adjust to my project. Next, move to the Titles tab and click on the default option, Included option, and then Titles option. I will select the first one and drag it onto the first track. Now, I want to modify the text, so let's double click on the track, and you will see the text settings being extended. Here you can change the text according to your need, including font, size, color, and etc. Now that I customize the title style for my text, I will cut the clip text in some parts to make sure to keep the same style for the other texts. I will use them for the rest of the video and it will be making our job easier because I just have to click on the clips I cut T to add the text I want in each as I am doing now. Next, I will move to the media tab to create a folder clicking here and I will take a screenshot as I am doing for each of the images used on the timeline with their titles to save them in this folder. Then, I will hide the first and the second track because that will be just for designing the frames. I will select all of the screenshots I took and it will be easier to just drag them with the image plus text already added to it. I will drag them onto the third track. Then, I will adjust the timing of these clips on the timeline. Also, let's adjust the pan and zoom option of each one by clicking here and giving them a continuous zoom effect to each frame. Then, I will copy all the first tracks and then I will block both to just copy these tracks in the rest of the video. Now, I want to create my own flash effect. To do that, I will move to the sample colors on the media tab and I will select the white color and drag it onto the fourth track. Let's cut the clip into some parts to divide them with some of the photos I have imported. And now, I got the flash effect as you see. This will give dynamic to the video. Then, let's import a great background music for my video and drag it onto the first audio track. Also, for you, I will highly recommend searching for music with a lot of beat changes to sync them between the flash effect and the photo. Then, I will drag another sample white color to the fourth track, and I will move to the Effects tab to search image and select this one and drag it onto this track. Now, let's double-click on it to extend the composition settings. I will go to the mask options to adjust it on the exact frame I want to show to make it match with the circle of the background to add there anything you want. Mm -hmm. 
Now, I will move to the Animation tab, and I will animate this image by adding a keyframe here, and animating the options I want the graphic to do what in the second I want. Here I can animate, escalation, position, opacity, and rotation. This process will be just to show a circle part of the photos with the zoom effect. Then, as a final detail in this step, I will adjust the timing of the photos on the timeline and make the effect shorter to have a dynamic feeling. Then, I will move to the Media tab and I will select this photo and drag it onto the fifth track. Now, I will move to the Effects tab to add an image mask again to this photo. Then, I will double-click on it to adjust the Transform and Image Mask settings. Also, I will add a keyframe in this photo to animate the opacity. Now, select all the clips on the timeline and move them one track upper. And now, I will select a white sample color on the media tab, and I will drag it onto the third track in this exact part because I want to continue the rest of the ending with a white background. I will continue by adding some keyframes on this clip because I want to have more animations at the ending part to have more space to add some texts. So, I will drag this text onto the sixth track and I will double click on it to add my information. Here I can recommend you to add username, subscribe buttons, brand name, contact information, etc. Then, I will move to the Elements tab and search for YouTube icons. For me, I will use this one because as you see I will only use the YouTube icon by double-clicking on it, taking a screenshot, dragging it onto the timeline, and cropping this screen only with the frame I want to use. Also, I will add a drop shadow to the icon by double-clicking on it and adjusting the setting here. Now, I will go to the Titles tab and I will use this one and drag it onto the ninth track to continue adding more information. And I will also add an animation to this title. For me, I will select and drag the fade in animation. Now, let's add the final details. So, move to the Effects tab and search Custom. I will use this one and drag it onto the 10th track. Then, let's add a transition between the clips you want. For me, I will use this one and drag it onto these two clips. Lastly, make sure to verify all the clips have the position you want. And there you have it, a fast and colorful slideshow intro for your videos is done. If you would like to recreate this, you can simply click Import Template at the bottom left of the video in Filmora Creator Academy to get the project files and replace the default media with your clips. If you would like to learn more about video editing, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to stay updated when we upload new videos in the future. Do check out other tutorials on this channel and comment below to let us know what you would like to learn next. Till next time, stay creative with Filmora.